Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk about creating your own aspect based sentiment model using Reputate IQ. Now, Reputate provides you with a, a wider range of pre built aspect based sentiment models that you can use. I'm going to show you one right now. We're going to try out the restaurant model. I'm going to put in some text here. I loved the coffee. I thought it was too expensive. So we analyzed that using the already existing Repustate aspect model for restaurants. And you see we get two scores. One's positive for the coffee, a negative score for the price aspect because of the words uh, expensive. So this is great. And if you're analyzing restaurant reviews, you can, of course, use our aspect model. But what if you're not? What if you've got something else that you want to analyze and, and you don't uh, have anything um, or we don't currently have something to help you out? OK, so let's create our own model. then. So there's two ways to do that. One way is by having us train one for you using uh, machine learning with some sample text and we cluster semantically similar words and phrases and, and it's a process or you can do it yourself through this uh, UI. So I'm going to create a new model and I'm going to call it current events because I just want to be able to tag uh, current events that you would see in a, in a news headline. So I'm not going to choose any of these ex pre existing aspect rules because they don't really apply. I'm going to create my own. So the first one I'm going to create is for politics. And I want any mention of a politician, a political party, some sort of political event, I want that to all be captured in this politics aspect. So rather than kind of coming up with a list of keywords, Repustate allows you to do this through named entity recognition. So I'm going to add any political movement, any political event, a political party or a politician. So if any of these are mentioned, this will automatically get tagged in a politics aspect and then we'll apply sentiment to it. I'm going to add another one. I'm going to call this one business. And again, I'm going to use name entity recognition. I'm going to say any mention of a business gets uh, classified automatically into this bucket. Now you can you can tell here, or you can notice that I'm not typing any. I haven't specified any specific business names. I'm just leveraging name entity recognition using our uh, NER models to then properly classify into an aspect. One more, I'm going to make. Uh, we're going to call this for sports. And here we'll do uh, any athlete, any mention of an athlete, and maybe uh, maybe a basketball team. So these are going to be our three aspects. So we're going to test them out now um, and see uh, the results. So now let's test it out. So we're going to choose our model, current events. It's still going to be in English. Now I have some sample text that I prepared before. So here is a headline uh, from a newspaper. And there you go. You see that we identified Prime Minister of the United Kingdom by resolving British Prime Minister Boris Johnson. So we identified this as the topic. Our politics aspect was correctly identified. And we have a negative sentiment score. So without typing any keywords or phrases or Boolean operators, the usual stuff that you'd see somewhere else with RepuState, it's very simple to set up your own aspect model. Let's do another example. Let's test out some business news. So here's a headline about Apple's recent um, financial report. We'll test it. Again, we automatically detected Apple Inc. So here notice that Apple Inc. doesn't appear in the text. But we know that in this context, we're talking about Apple the business, not Apple the fruit. And so we we normalized the topic to be Apple Inc. We could tag it with the business aspect, which is what we uh, defined earlier. And then we have a, a positive sentiment score because it's talking about um, the revenue increasing. So that was really a, a quick and simple illustration of how you can create your own aspect model leveraging Name any recognition that we've already created and, and offer all of our customers. You can also mix and match with keywords still. So you, you don't have to do name any recognition. You could still do a little bit of both, but there's a lot of flexibility. It works in all 23 languages that Repustate currently supports. 
Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. And that's all for today.